When factoring trinomials, I have said several times that the final binomials that you end up with can have no GCF hiding inside of them. That is because when we're factoring, we should always take a first step that takes care of any GCF possibilities, and that is to always factor the GCF first. Always factor the GCF first. Always. This is the important first step of factoring any problem. Always factor the GCF first. It's the most commonly missed step in factoring for students when they're learning how to factor. So if we see an example like 18x to the 4th minus 21x cubed minus 15x squared, we're not going to start by jumping right to the factors. Instead, we're going to start by first trying to identify, is there a common factor on each of these terms? 18, 21, and 15 are each divisible by 3. You'll also notice that they all have x's in common. They have at least two of them. GCFs take the lowest exponent. And when we factor out 3x squared from 18x to the 4th, we get 6x squared. Minus 21 divided by 3 is minus 7x, and minus 15 divided by 3 is minus 5. Now we're ready to continue on with the 3x squared times the binomials that we'll end up with. The GCF that we found is going to hang out for the entire rest of the problem. Don't let it disappear. It's part of the problem. We're just done working with it, but it's still there. All right, first times first has to equal first. We should be getting good at this. Uh, 6x squared, that's probably 2x times 3x, huh? Also, we know that last times last has to equal last, or negative 5. Um, because it's negative, we know one of them's negative, one's positive. We're not sure which yet, so let's just try. We'll stick 5 and 1. It's the only way to multiply to 5. And we're hoping that the outside and inside will add to negative 7, x. So 2x times 1 is 2x, 5 times 3x is 15x. If 1 is negative, can we make those add to 7? Not really. Best we can do is 13, not 7. So this doesn't really work. We're going to need a plan B. And one thing we might try that we haven't tried yet is maybe we got our 5 and 1 backwards. Let's switch those. Let's see what happens when we switch those. So. Sticking with the 2x and 3x, we're going to switch the 5 and 1, though, and make it 1 and 5. If this doesn't work, we're going to have to try another way to get the 6x squared. Maybe 6 and 1. We'll see. Maybe this will work. One of them's negative, so 2x times 5 is 10x. 1 times 3x is 3x. If one of those is negative, can we end up with negative 7x? Yes. If the 10x were negative, negative 10x plus 3x is negative 7x. So the outside's negative, that was the 5. The inside was a positive 3. If I clean up my work here, we've got our final factored form of 3x squared times 2x plus 1 times 3x minus 5. Always factor the GCF first. So when we see example 2 that says 16x cubed plus 28x squared y minus 30xy, we think GCF first, 16, 28, and 30. They're all divisible by 2. They also all have at least a single x on them. Factoring 2x out gives us 8x squared plus 14xy minus 15y squared. Again, we're not going to lose that GCF. It's going to hang out as we continue the problem and just see what we end up with for the binomials. We know first times first has to equal first. How do we get 8x squared? Maybe it's 4x times 2x. We also know last times last has to equal negative 15y squared. That means 
One's positive, one's negative. Only way to multiply to a negative. We'll worry about which one in a minute. Maybe 15 is 3y times 5y. With one of them negative, we want the outside and inside to give us 14xy. So 4x times 5y is 20xy. 3y times 2x is 6xy. If one of those is negative, can we get positive 14xy? We can if the 6xy is negative. 20 minus 6 is 14. So that negative came from the inside. 20xy on the outside is positive. And if we just clean it up, we'll end up with our correct final answer. 2x times 4x minus 3y times 2x plus 5y. Now, as always, you can check your answers on these by multiplying them out. With these, I suggest you do the binomials first and distribute the monomial at the end. So keep the 2x outside. Let's just check this. 4x times 2x is 8x squared. 4x times 5y is 20xy. 3y negative times 2x is negative 6xy. Negative 3y times 5y is negative 15y squared. Combine like terms in the middle, so we have 2x times 8x squared plus 14xy minus 15y squared. And now that we've multiplied the binomials, we'll distribute the monomial, giving us 16x cubed. 2x times 14 is 28 x squared y, 2x times negative 15 is negative 30 x y squared. And you'll notice that is, in fact, the original problem we started with. So with factoring trinomials, always do the GCF first, and then work through our pattern. First times first is first, last times last is last. Do they add to the middle?